Mercedes C-Class Coupe Review. Our rating. 4 star. The Mercedes C-Class Coupe is the smallest coupe Mercedes makes but it's reassuringly big on style. 4. Sleek looks, quality cabin, good range of engines. Against. Not the most thrilling to drive, high options list, noisy diesels. While Mercedes may well have a strong heritage when it comes to two-door coupes but technically speaking, the current C-Class Coupe is only the second car of its type the brand has ever built. The first generation C-Class only came in saloon and estate guises, and while a coupe model was offered with the second generation C-Class in 2001, the Sport Coupe, later renamed CLC, was more of a stylish three-door hatchback than a proper coupe. Mercedes finally offered a rival to the all-conquering BMW 3 Series Coupe in 2011 but the current C-Class Coupe is the most stylish of the lot-sharing key design themes with the much larger S-Class Coupe. There's a wide range of versions from entry-level sport right through to the Mercedes AMG tuned C43 and C63 models to suit all budgets and tastes with every version coming with a well-made interior and space for four people. Its nearest rival is the similarly well-appointed BMW 4 Series Coupe and although that car has a dynamic edge, the Mercedes is a stylish and well-rounded product. Our choice. Mercedes C250D AMG Line Coupe. In the mid-sized coupe market the C-Class is one of the most popular options along with the BMW 4 Series Coupe and the Audi A5. The Germans dominate this sector thanks to a combination of efficient running costs, inherited from the saloon cars on which they're based, luxurious cabins and most importantly, badge appeal. If you don't want German there are two Japanese alternatives in the shape of the Lexus RC and the Infiniti Q60, but these two are likely to be niche options in comparison with the C-Class. Mercedes has reasserted its grip on the coupe body steel with the very elegant S-Class coupe. But this near pound 100,000 Bentley rivaling car won't appeal to everyone and that's where the C-Class Coupe and the forthcoming E-Class Coupe come in. Just like the relationship between the C-Class Saloon and the S-Class Saloon, the C-Class Coupe very much resembles the S-Class Coupe. In fact, it looks like a scaled-down version. While the old C-Class Coupe looked like a two-door version of the four-door C-Class Saloon, the new model takes on a new visual identity. It's 95 mm longer than the old car, as well as being 40 mm wider, all in an effort to make the newcomer look sleeker and like a traditional coupe. The wheelbase is 80 mm longer 260 mm of that comes between the firewall and the front axle, giving the coupe that long bonnet look normally reserved for sports cars. In fact, it's only the front wings that are shared with the C-Class Saloon. It's a very swoopy design. There's an exaggerated shoulder line, and the roofline arches down to the curvy rear end and it's here where the car closely resembles the S-Class Coupe. However, in some colors, wheel choices, and trim specifications the rear three-quarter view can look a little awkward. For the standard C-Class Coupe there are just two trim sport and AMG line and standard kit includes 17-inch alloys, LED headlights, artificial leather trimmed heated sports seats, a 7-inch infotainment screen and a Garmin SAT NAV system. Sport and AMG line cars come with a choice of a 2.0-liter petrol developing either 181bhp in the C200 or 242bhp in the C300 or a 2.1-liter diesel with 168bhp in the C220d and 201bhp in the C250d. There's the choice of a 6-speed manual or two autos a 7-speed for the AMG petrols and a 9-speed for the mid-to-range topping petrols and diesels. There's also the option to have rear-wheel drive or 4MATIC four-wheel drive. There are two further C-Class Coupe models developed by Mercedes's in-house tuning division AMG. The Mercedes AMG C43 Coupe is a halfway house between the standard petrol-powered models and the full-fat C63 and C63 SV8 powered versions. The C43 uses a new 362bhp 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6 and is mated to a 9-speed automatic gearbox and 4-wheel drive and comes with extra AMG equipment on the outside and inside. 
The C63 comes with a 469 bhp 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 while the C63S gets a 503 bhp version of the same engine. Both get unique AMG body styling and interior equipment. Engines, performance, and drive. 3.5 star. Standard C-Class Coupe gets a range of average petrol and diesel engines while range topping AMG versions get improved handling and more exciting engines. To befit its more sporting character, the coupe gets revised software for the electric power steering giving more weight than the system offered in the standard saloon. The coupe steering is also quicker and gives more feedback. All models come with Agility Select allowing you to choose different driving modes Echo, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. You sit low down in the C-Class and with plenty of adjustment in the steering and driver's seat, the coupe feels good to drive. It also rides well on typically broken British B roads but Mercedes does offer an Airmatic Agility package for £895. It's pricey but gives air suspension and adaptive dampers, meaning the C-Class can smooth out potholes better in comfort mode. Alternatively, in sport mode, the C-Class sharpens up a little with stiffer suspension giving more dynamic handling and less body roll in the corners. However, be warned AMG line cars with 18-inch wheels can counteract the air suspension on really bad roads due to their large diameters and tendency to thump into road imperfections. If you're after the perfect ride, Choosing the Airmatic Agility package with the smaller 17-inch wheels offered as standard on the Sport model is the best option. Standard non-AMG cars come with rear-wheel drive to give the best balance of handling, however Mercedes does offer 4MATIC all-wheel drive for just an extra £1,500. It's a clever system that can split the engine's power 50 colon 50 to the front and rear axles in really difficult conditions or send 100 percent of the power to the rear wheels. The system constantly monitors road conditions, meaning 4MATIC is a good choice for those who encounter tricky terrain or just like the reassurance of year-round grip. Mercedes have long carved out a reputation for producing good automatics and the 9-speed version, in standard cars, is good, slipping through years easily while the 7-speed version in the Mercedes AMG C63 and C63S is similarly impressive. However, the 6-speed manual is a little notchy and not as accomplished as the gearbox used in the BMW 4 Series Coupe even though the manual box in the BMW has a slightly rubbery feel. In fact, the BMW is the more fun and involving coupe compared to the C-Class and could be considered to be more of the driver's car. That's not to say the C-Class coupe is lacking it's noticeably more fun to drive than the Lexus RC, for instance. Engines The C-Class coupe has quite a simple lineup of engines. For petrol customers there's a 2.0-liter four-cylinder unit with two power outputs 181 bhp in the C200 or 242 bhp in the C300. While for diesel there's a 2.1-liter engine also with two power outputs 168 bhp in the C220D and 201 bhp in the C250D. The 2.0-liter petrol is a little flat for a sports coupe. We've tried the C300 and on paper, it looks good, 0 to 62 miles per hour takes a very respectable 6 seconds, with top speed limited to 155 miles per hour. However, it doesn't make a particularly pleasant noise, emitting a drone rather than a tuneful roar. Push the throttle harder and the noise turns harsh made all the worse by sports exhaust. Progress is not as smooth as you'd expect, either with power delivery suffering from a little turbo lag at lower revs? Happily the 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6 is much better. It's a brand new engine and just like most V6s, it's smooth whilst delivering great performance coupled with a great soundtrack. It packs considerably more punch than the equivalent BMW 440i coupe, but unfortunately the engine is only limited to the Mercedes-AMG C43 a halfway house between the C300 and the full-fat Mercedes-AMG C63. Diesel versions of the C-Class will appeal to those considering running one as a company car.
The diesel is a 2.1 liter unit but with two power outputs 168 bhp in the C220D and 201 bhp in the C250D. While the 2.0 liter petrol is just a little unexciting, the old 2.1 liter diesel is noisy. The new Mercedes E-Class gets an all new 2.0 liter 4 cylinder diesel which is far better than this aging unit which isn't particularly smooth or quiet. We've only driven the higher powered C250D and felt it's a little strained at high revs and course on tick over, but it does offer decent punch 201 bhp and 500 nm of torque translates into a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 6.7 seconds. Right at the top of the pile are the C63 and C63S. Powered by Mercedes-AMG's new 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8 it's a fabulous engine punchy, torquey with a great spread of abilities. It also makes a fabulous noise and is well paired with Mercedes 7-speed automatic gearbox. It comes in two power outputs 469 bhp in the C63 and 503 bhp in the C63S. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 4 star. Diesel models appeal to the head while petrol powered versions of the C class coupe appeal to the heart. If the idea of having a diesel engine powering your sleek two door Mercedes coupe revolts you, then you'll be drawn to the petrol alternatives. If you're after the cheapest to run petrol, then the C200 will impress its 181 bhp 2.0 liter petrol will return 53.3 mpg. Go for the sport model with 17-inch wheels and your road tax bill will be £110 a year due to emissions of 123g slash km of CO2. Meanwhile the more powerful 2.0 liter petrol in the C300 with 241 bhp returns 44.8 mpg and emits 146g slash km with 17-inch wheels. With 18 and 19-inch wheels, its emissions jump giving a higher tax penalty. Naturally, the AMG models are more costly to run. The C43 will return a reasonable 36.2 mpg and emits 178 g slash km of CO2. Mercedes claims 32.8 mpg for the C63 models but you're unlikely to achieve much more than 25 mpg. CO2 emissions are 200 g slash km. If you're going to be running emissions vary according to wheel size for most C-Class Coupe models but this is particularly so with the diesel versions. Sport models with 17-inch wheels result in CO2 emissions of 106g slash km for the C220D and 109g slash km for the C250D. Larger 18 and 19-inch alloy wheels push up the price up but it'll be small extra outlay for the extra style, most buyers will conclude. Insurance groups. The words Mercedes and Coupe normally set insurance firms on edge, more so than the saloon versions. Insurance groups kick off from the low 30s for the diesel and 2.0 liter petrols. The C43 comes in at 45 while the C63 versions are rated between 47 and 50. Depreciation. The C-Class has good residuals for the mid-size coupe market private buyers should expect around 44 per center when it comes to part exchange, making the Mercedes one of the best in the class for retained value. As with the C-Class saloon, it's recommended to go for some of the options packs to boost residual values such as the premium and premium plus packs. Also the diesel models enjoy stronger residuals than the petrol powered versions. Interior, design, and technology. 4 star. Looks are important in a coupe and the C-Class's sleek lines help it stand out while interior quality is also strong. Mercedes has worked hard on scaling down the near 100,000 pounds S-Class coupe into a smaller form for the C-Class and it has worked the C-Class coupe is a very stylish car and one of the smartest if not the smartest in the sector. In Europe the C-Class Coupe comes in a very basic entry trim level with plastic wheel trims. But, due to UK buyers elevated expectations of how a Mercedes should look and feel, here the standard Coupe comes in two well specified trim levels Sport and AMG line. Sport comes with 17 inch alloys, lead headlights, artificial leather trimmed heated sports seats, a 7 inch infotainment screen, a Garmin SAT NAV system and seat belts that electrically slide forwards for easy reach. 
The AMG line adds more aggressive exterior styling including a more glitzy grille, 18-inch alloys, lowered suspension, speed-sensitive steering, AMG branded mats and stainless steel pedals. There's also black roof lining and silver paddle shifters on automatic versions. The three range topping models are developed by Mercedes AMG Mercedes in-house tuning division. The C43 gets slightly racier exterior styling than the AMG line cars with extra equipment such as an AMG performance exhaust, a lip spoiler on the bootlet and red seat belts. Meanwhile the C63 and C63S are the hardcore performance models and get distinctive flared body styling and body hugging bucket seats. At launch there's also an edition 1 version of the C63S inspired by the Mercedes C63S coupe racing in the German Touring Car Championship. As such it comes with racing stripes. The interior of the C-Class coupe is just as stylish as the outside. Naturally it has been lifted straight out of the saloon and features the same high quality construction and attractive design details. Virtually everything you touch is made from good quality plastic or metal and you have to look hard for any cheap feeling materials. As standard the coupe gets gloss black inlays for the center console but while it looks great, it can scratch very easily. Sat NAV, Stereo and Infotainment Like most other Mercedes models, the C-Class coupe gets a tablet-like screen attached to the dash. Opinions are mixed on whether it looks cheap or smart but at least it's different from rival set UPS. Its operating system isn't as intuitive or pleasant to use as BMW's excellent iDrive or Audi's MMI. There are some confusing menu tabs that can make it tricky to use on the move despite there being the option of a scroll wheel and touchpad. As standard the C-Class gets a Garmin SAT NAV. While it may not sound very becoming for a Mercedes to use a Garmin system, it works well enough. C-Class coupes also get Bluetooth and DAB as standard. As part of the Premium and Premium Plus packs there's the option of a Burmester surround stereo system. With 13 speakers and a 9-channel amp, it's worth the upgrade if you enjoy listening to music while on the move. Practicality, Comfort, and Boot Space 3.5 star. The coupe body steel doesn't stop the C-Class offering acceptable practicality. Rear seat space is tight though. Interior space is reasonable on the C-Class coupe. Like most cars of this type, space is a little tight in the rear for adults but for shorter journeys it's adequate. There's a well-shaped boot and plenty of cubbies and interior storage too. Size. At 4,750 mm in length and 1,877 mm in width, the C-Class Coupe is slightly larger than its biggest rival, the BMW 4 Series Coupe. It's the same story when you compare it to the Audi A5 Coupe and the Lexus RC but we are only talking a few millimeters. Legroom, headroom and passenger space. Upfront space is excellent, however, as you'd expect, room in the back is rather more restricted. That's thanks to the sloping roof line meaning anyone over 6 foot will really struggle for headroom however knee room is just about acceptable and you can slide your feet under the front seats to give a little extra comfort. There are only two seats as well, with a pair of cup holders in the center the middle seat has been removed so the two outer seats can be moved inboard allowing passengers a better view are of the front. Overall, space is on PAR with rivals boot. Apart from the C63 and C63S models, all C-Class coupes have a 400-liter boot. This is 50 liters smaller than both the BMW 4 Series and the Audi A5. The C63 has even less room for luggage just 355 liters. Reliability and safety. 3.5 star. Quality components means the C-Class coupe should have few troubles, while interior is well made. Whether it's petrol or diesel powered, the mechanicals are all tried and tested in the C-Class Coupe so there shouldn't be any nasty surprises. Meanwhile the interior feels built to last thanks to its high quality plastics. That's what you'd think anyway.
Although the C-Class Coupe hasn't made an appearance in driver power survey yet the saloon has it finished a credible 43rd out of 150 cars with owners praising performance and comfort. However, owners weren't impressed with the reliability and some of those high-quality plastics aren't as resilient as they initially seem. Generally though the C-Class saloon is a reliable car and scores better than the BMW 3 Series saloon so you can expect a similar story with the coupe. Just like the saloon, the coupe is a very safe car 7 airbags, a driver tiredness monitor and tire pressure warning all come as standard. It's been given a 5-star Euro NCAP crash test rating. Buyers can add high options like the 2,300 pounds driver assistance pack, which brings blind spot warning, lane departure assist and adaptive cruise control. Other options include an 825 pounds head-up display and 545 pounds active LED lights with cornering function and high beam assist. Warranty Mercedes gives a 3-year, unlimited mileage warranty with the C-Class range and is identical to the package supplied with BMW models, but goes one better than the Audi warranty, which limits cover to 3 years and 60,000 miles. Servicing since the late 1990s, Mercedes has worked on a condition-based servicing system and the C-Class Coupe is no different. As such, how often your car will be in the dealership will be down to driving style. Like the saloon, for either a one-off fee or a series of monthly payments from as little as £1, up to £40 for the AMG C63, Mercedes Service Care guarantees owners the price of parts and labor for up to four years to protect against inflation. Service Care covers the cost of all recommended service items, including fluids, filters and spark plugs.